Hi, my name is Fred and these are my top five Keurig or hot alcoholic cocktails. Coffee, hot cocoa, tea, cider, delicious. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below and share on all your social media platforms. At the end of this video, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching. Okay, and the first cocktail we are making today is going to be a Reese's Hot Cocoa, a Reese's Hot Cocoa. So you're gonna need your hot cocoa pod. I'm using this one right here, put it in there. Then you're gonna need one and a half ounces of your peanut butter whiskey. I'm using Screwball. One and a half ounces, let's give it into my jigger here. Perfect. There we go. And we're gonna put this right here and hit it. And now through the use of fantastic video editing, this is gonna go by super quick. Awesome, now we're gonna take that down and we're gonna add some aerosol whipped cream to that. Perfect, and on top of the aerosol whipped cream, we're gonna add a little bit of, ooh, let me get my thumb out of the way, Hershey's chocolate to that. And there you have your Reese's Hot Cocoa. Delicious. Okay, before I get started on the next cocktail, I just wanna let you know my inspiration for this video. I received this uh, little gift pack from one of my guests. Uh, I thought it was awesome, but it has butterscotch schnapps, hot damn cinnamon schnapps, peach schnapps, and peppermint schnapps. And a lot of people don't know what to do with all the different liquors that they get. So this video with the butterscotch and the peppermint and even the hot damn cinnamon schnapps, we're gonna be, you could be using. So for this next cocktail, um, I don't know if you guys know, Mott's makes a nice uh, hot apple cider that goes into your Keurig. You could buy them online. They do have them at some of the big box stores, but you're gonna need your Mott's hot apple cider. Put that in there. And for this one, I'm gonna be using the butterscotch schnapps but you could also use the hot dam if you want, and even you could use Captain Morgan's spice rum on this. The spice rum and hot apple cider go great together, but for me, I'm doing the butterscotch schnapps. So you're gonna need one ounce of your butterscotch schnapps right in the bottom of your glass, and we are gonna add the hot apple cider. And it will be delicious. And I wish you guys could smell this because it smells delicious. And now for a garnish on this one, I just like using a cinnamon stick. And you could use a cinnamon stick for, for any of them, for the, uh, for the Captain Morgans or the uh, cinnamon schnapps. But this is your butterscotch cider. I should have told you that at the beginning. Delicious. Okay, and the next cocktail we're making is called a spiked chai tea latte, a spiked chai tea latte. So you take your, uh, your chai tea latte, you're gonna put that in your, uh, your Keurig. And then for this, again, you could decide what you want. I'll be using the, the hot dam that we got, which is cinnamon schnapps, but you could also use Captain Morgan's. You could also use butterscotch schnapps. You could use a variety of things in this, just even a little Baileys. You can give it a little Baileys to give it a little kick. But again, this is your drink, make it the way you want it. So for me, I'm gonna be using uh, one ounce of the Hot Dam. Ooh, look at that, delicious. Oh, and I stand corrected, I just dropped the bottle here. And I stand corrected, these are not one ounce, these are 1 1.6 ounces. I just looked at the bottle, it's 50 milliliters. I didn't even realize they were that much. But you have your, add your uh, cinnamon schnapps to that, and then we are going to get that going again. Add our latte, our chai latte. All right. Now, uh, let's top this cocktail. I also made some homemade whipped cream. This is alcohol infused whipped cream. We're gonna give it a stir. I had it out of the fridge. I'm actually gonna pull this a little bit over here so I can pour it down. And if you wanna learn how to make this alcohol infused whipped cream, check out the link above. There we go. This is delicious. 
Now, normally, if I used aerosol whipped cream, I would top this with a little bit of uh, powdered cinnamon, but this is perfect the way it is, and it is delicious. Okay, thanks for continuing to watch the uh, top five Keurig cocktails. I just want to give a shout out to Tilza. Uh, I was sent this cooler to check it out, and it is now in my man cave, a.k.a. the basement. So this fridge can hold 150 cans, or depending on how you configure it, the shelves can move and go up and down. It's got stainless steel on the outside, digital readout. It can be in uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius. It's just a cool, really sturdy little fridge. It's made to go under the counter, or it can also be a standalone. I am using it as a standalone, but uh, it'll fit perfectly under your counter. Unfortunately, I have no room upstairs in my kitchen, so it by default came downstairs. But I love the company. It does have a locking mechanism on the bottom to keep my teenagers out. But it's a really cool, super silent little fridge. It also has the digital readout inside. And if you go to my description in the link below, you'll see a link to the Tilza website plus a discount code from Mr. Fredenza if you decide you'd like to get a fridge or any one of their products. But again, really cool product. Give it a good thumbs up. Okay, and the next cocktail we're making is called a peanut butter Irish whiskey. A peanut butter Irish whiskey. What you're gonna need is your one ounce of your screwball. Let's get a measurement on that. And my handy dandy jigger lid. I'm sorry, 1.5 ounces of your screwball. I'm gonna put it right in your cup there. Perfect. Let's get this out of the way. We're gonna add, because uh, the peanut butter whiskey is a little sweeter than normal Irish whiskey, we're instead of one tablespoon, we're only using one teaspoon of brown sugar. We're gonna put it in there. Give it a good stir to get that a little incorporated. Start breaking that sugar down. And now we are gonna add our coffee and our pod to the Keurig. Clean up your mess while you're waiting for the coffee. Love that sound. All right, now we're gonna take this down. We're gonna give it another stir to make sure everything is incorporated and all that brown sugar has diluted. And then we are gonna to top this with aerosol whipped cream. And there you have your peanut butter Irish coffee. Delicious. Okay, and the next hot cocktail we're making is called the peppermint patty. What you're gonna need again is your hot cocoa packet or your hot cocoa pod. Oh, let's remove the old one, put this hot cocoa in there, get that going. And then you're gonna need the one and a half ounces, or I'm using the small bottle that came in my little gift pack, of peppermint schnapps, peppermint schnapps, one and a half ounces. Let's throw that in there. Perfect, and then we are gonna add the hot cocoa. Now we're going to take that, <clears throat> put it right down. We're going to add a little of the aerosol whipped cream to that. You could use some of your homemade whipped cream if you made that. And on top of that, I broke up a candy cane into a bunch of little pieces, and we're going to just sprinkle those on the top for a nice garnish. And there you have your peppermint patty. Delicious. Hey, thanks for watching, we appreciate it. Again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below, and share on all your social media platforms. At the end of this video, which is right now, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching.